All right, so we're going to talk about planar projection. The way planar projection works is that it uses a plane, let's say, for example, the top plane, the front plane, or the side plane, to project UVs onto a mesh. So, for example, if I select the top face and the bottom face, notice that those two faces are on the Y axis. So if I was to go to my UV menu under Create UVs, I'm going to go to Planar, and I'm going to select the option. And notice that if we select the Y axis under Project From, when I click on Apply, and let me hit Close, notice that those two faces have been projected from the Y direction. So if I go to my top view, and hit F to focus. This is how the top and the bottom were projected. All right, let me go to object mode and click somewhere on the canvas, reselect my cube. Now, at the same time, notice that I have this button right here, which is the toggle shaded UV display. And a good projection would give me a light blue color. And a bad projection will give me a red color. Now we have purple. That means that if I go to my perspective view, right, the top and the bottom, so shift select the bottom. So for one of them, the projection did not work, meaning that the projection was projected not from the top, but from the inside. And I'm referring to the bottom face. So if I select this face right here, notice that we can move this projection to one side right and now I can see that this face right here the projection was projected erroneously meaning that it came from the inside of the cube because we projected from the top it hit this face right here the projection was good and then as it went through the cube it projected the bottom face from the inside alright so we need to invert this projection the easiest way to do that if we go to the tools right below the image menu inside of our UV editor, you will notice that I have a flip selection UVs in the U direction and flip selected UVs in the V direction. Again, in our UV coordinate, V stands for vertical. So these are the Vs, therefore these are the Us. So if I wanna flip this on the Us, I would click on this icon right here and now you can see that my projection is correct. Both of them are blue, both of them have really good UVs. Now we can do the same thing for, for example, this face right here, and shift select the back, and notice that these two faces are on the Z axis, so I would go to my UVs, UV menu, under Create Planar, I would go to the option, and I would select the Z axis, and when I hit Project, again, we have one good projection, and then the other projection was projected from the inside of the cube, not from the outside. So I'm gonna right mouse button, select my object, and I'm going to find the face that has been erroneously projected. I'm gonna hit W, select faces, select the front face. I'm gonna move this one to the side. I'm gonna select the bottom one, move it down and notice that this shelf right here is in the wrong direction so I'm gonna flip it on the U again and now I have four perfectly projected sides now we're gonna go to this face right here and the opposite face which are projected on the X axis and I'm gonna go to my UV menu on the create planar option box and this time I'm gonna select X and I'm gonna hit apply and again one of these faces was projected in the wrong direction. I'm gonna select this face, and with the W key to move, I'm gonna move this face out of the way, and notice that this face right here was projected from the inside, so I'm gonna flip it again on the U, and now I have six perfectly projected faces. So the next thing that we have to do, again, when you create UVs, is go to create UVs, then we have to modify them and edit them. So I'm gonna select my edges, 
and as soon as I select this edge, it's going to select the same edge on this face. So I'm going to go to Move and Sew. It's the bottom right icon right below Textures. And those two edges were sewn together. Now I'm going to select this edge right here. Move and Sew. I'm going to select this edge right here, move and saw, and then I will select this side edge right here, move and saw, and lastly the bottom one, move and saw. And as you can see, I have a perfectly UV cube. Let me scale it down, move it inside of my one to one coordinate. And if I assign a UV texture, right, let me go to object mode and bring up my hypershade and I have a texture already created with my UVs right here. I'm going to middle mouse drag it onto my object and in order to see the texture we have to hit 6 and there it is. A perfectly UV'd cube using the planar projection inside of Maya.